scouring the web, stalking forms, and keeping an ear to the ground. And there's an inside scoop on what could be the next big thing in the VR universe. From epic upgrades to potential game-changing features, all the beans are about to be spoiled. Aesthetic Marvel, Pico 5 Design. Pico has some exciting stuff in the works for their new virtual reality VR gear. And most of the fantastic design info has leaked out, except for one thing. They've shared their controllers on their Chinese social media, and their roadmap hints at the next Pico 5 will have better lenses, a wider and super clear view, its image quality getting even more immersed in your VR world, like looking through a clear window into another dimension. The Pico 5 VR headset also has a cool new feature. It can adjust the image separately for each of your eyes. So even if your eyes aren't perfectly apart, you'll still get a clear picture. This is great for people who struggle with the old way of adjusting the image. The Pico 5 is also making a change to its controllers that's similar to what the MetaQuest 3 did. They're getting rid of the ring that used to go around your hand. The new controllers still look pretty much like the old ones, but without that hand ring. It's a small change, but it gives them a more modern look. The new Pico 5 controllers will be 15 grams lighter than the old ones, but they're not just shedding weight, they're gaining new features. These controllers have special motors that make your virtual adventures feel even more real. You'll feel vibrations that sync up with what's happening on screen making you feel like you're right in the middle of all the action. Pico's new tracking system is another good addition. It not only follows the lights on the controller, but also keeps an eye on your hands using special sensors. Even though the controller has fewer lights, this sleek design is super accurate. So, with the Pico 5, you can look forward to precise and immersive gaming in a lighter and more responsive package. It's like having a super smart gaming buddy right in your hands. Pico 5's epic hardware and features. The Pico 5 is really leveling up with its super sharp resolution, 2560 by 2560 per eye. That's a big jump from the MetaQuest 3's 2208 by 2064 and the Pico 4's 2160 by 2160. With fancy new optics and these super high resolution screens, the Pico 5 might be the sharpest standalone headset out there. When it comes to performance, the Pico 5 is rolling with the same Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 Gen 2 chip as the Quest 3. You might be wondering, hmm, can it handle those super clear screens like a pro? Well, only time will tell, but if the Quest 3's performance is any indication, we're pretty sure the XR2 Gen 2 can handle it like a champ. The Pico 5 isn't stopping at just killer visuals. It's got some fancy tracking technology that's even cooler than what you'd find in the Quest 3. It is bringing two extra black and white cameras for tracking your moves, two snazzy 16 megapixel color cameras, and a depth sensor. People were already impressed with the four megapixel pass-through cameras on the Quest 3. But with these new upgrades in the Pico 5, it looks like the future's going to be super bright with even clearer visuals and some top-notch tracking magic. But that's not the only magic. The Pico 5 has this hand tracking thing that's like pure magic and some electromagnetic assisted positioning stuff. They haven't exposed much details about it, but rumor is that this could be a game changer for tracking, giving the Pico 5 an edge over the Quest 3. But question is, how you connect it with your computer? When it comes to connecting to the computer, the Pico 5 and its sibling, the Pico 5 Pro, are keeping it simple, just like the Pico 4 did. 
you can link up using a USB-C cable or speedy Wi-Fi. What sets the Pico 5 Pro apart is that it's got all the same cool features as the regular Pico 5, but it comes with eye tracking and a special camera management chip to handle all those extra sensors. But if you're into next level tech, the Pico 5 Pro Max is set to dazzle with an incredible resolution of 3840 by 3840 per eye. It's like having a 4K TV for each eyeball. That's seriously mind blowing. This actually makes it the best standalone VR headset around, even leaving fancy ones like the Pimax Crystal behind. And that's not all. The Pro Max isn't just about looking good. It also has a direct display port connection for PC VR. So you can jump into some serious PC gaming without any annoying quality loss holding you back. Everyone is eager to know when we can get our hands on it and how much it's going to cost. So mark your calendars for April 21st, 2024, because that's when it'll be available. But if you can't wait, there's a cool early preview in February 2024. The Pico 5 is expected to be priced at 3,499 Chinese yen, which is about the same as the Quest 3 roughly at $499 in the United States. The Pico 5 is expected to be priced at 3,499 Chinese yuan which is about the same as the Quest 3, roughly $499 in the United States. But the excitement doesn't end there. On that same April day, two more headsets will be revealed. So just keep in mind that you have to wait a bit before you can grab one for yourself. If you're interested in the Pico 5 Pro, it's coming out in October of 2024, and it'll cost about 4,299 yuan which is around $599. And for the Pico 5 Pro Max, it's a real powerhouse with impressive specifications, and it's priced at $7,999, which is roughly $1,100. This one hits the market in December 2024. So if you're up for some high-end VR action, be prepared to invest a bit more. The Pico 5 sounds very promising, but will it be able to compete with the upcoming Valve Deckard? To find out, check about this groundbreaking headset.